Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we will be learning about how to update your virtual machines within Microsoft Azure Cloud. And this mechanism also works with your on-premises. That means you can manage with the updates uh, for multiple Azure virtual machines as well as for your on-premises computers. The backend of the infrastructure includes your automation account and log analytics services as a combination and then you would be able to patch almost all possible operating systems. So to begin with that, you can use the update management console to update with the Azure automation uh, which manages in the backend with some kind of uh, run books which will be there and that would actually triggers on those machines. And also you can manage uh, uh, not just the cloud you can also manage on-premises machines and you can quickly assess for the required patches which are required or got installed all that can be done and you can enable the update management with multiple mechanisms not just the one method so you can do it from the Azure automation account and also you can do it from the non Azure uh, machines that's manual method also you can do it from the Azure single machine that means you can just go to the virtual machine and from the portal and you can do it and also you can also do it for by the same thing you can do it for multiple machines can be selected and enable for virtual machines uh, for the patch management solution so let's have a look on it how this works so this will have in the back end as the log analytic agent which will be available for windows as well as the linux machines because we're gonna update windows and linux machines and also in the back end um, this will also have the powershell dsc um, which uh, talks about the compliance management uh, for the required desired state configuration so that would uh, require for the Linux machines and also for the you can do as we talked about you can also manage your on-premises as well as the Azure cloud machines that's where the automation hybrid run book uh, worker will trigger that uh, workbook or the uh, run book so uh, coming back to the um, back end for the Microsoft updates will be there with the help of the WSCS and if you locate this uh, structure so what would happen is if you uh, if you see here there are two different run books are available one for the hybrid run book other one would be the just the log analytic agent uh, for Windows and Linux so with the automation account it will actually check for the status reports will be always done and based on the reviewed assessment and def uh, defined deployments uh, which are done against to these run books uh, it will uh, tell the what kind of status it has like uh, if it is required some of the patches it will gets installed before it actually gets installed you can actually run pre steps and a post steps and then the updates also can be configured so that means you do have the pre scripts can be executed and in between windows updates will be uh, deployed and then post steps also will be there so you have an uh, option where pre and post steps are very useful for example you want to manually stop some uh, services or some kind of manual activity to be done that can be fully automated with the help of PowerShell commands and uh, once that's executed uh, and you can schedule for the maintenance of the Windows updates that would uh, install all the patches and then post steps will trigger to start that uh, server specific activity so that's how it's going to work this is the architecture in the back end now let's have a look on it what are the operating systems are supported so we talked about the many things um, within this update management but we didn't talk about the supported client operating system it supports almost all the server operating systems uh, from starting from 20 uh, 2008 uh, to, to 2019 all kind of you know editions like um, you take standard edition enterprise edition or even the core edition also will be supported and coming back to the Linux yes uh, sent OS 6 and the 7 also red hat 6 and 7 for the x86 and x64 suci linux and ubuntu uh, 14 and 16 and 18 
versions and there are definitely non supported operating systems also there which we need to talk about first and foremost it doesn't support all the client operating systems when I say Windows 7 9 10 it's not going to support and also Windows Server nano uh, technology uh, specific nano servers are not going to support and uh, KBS that's a uh, Kubernetes services which are not going to support it and now let's have a look on it you know how to manage so we talked about earlier about the overview again we will just have a look on it uh, the same thing so if you look at here Windows update management can be done for your Windows as well as the Linux operating systems you can onboard them you can assist them uh, for the required available updates and then you can select and then you can schedule for the required updates So what would happen is in the back end the review deployment results will be verified uh, With the successful of all the virtual machines which are enabled So then you would be getting very similar to this kind of you know screenshot which is presented on your screen so here non complaint complaint or compliant uh, for different operating systems uh, whether it is a critically missing or security missing all that would be uh, reported back to you as a consolidated view of and as we talked this also supports for Linux computers so the Linux supported uh, computers will be to report back the time frame is at least one hour to be innovated and whereas for Windows uh, it's just a 12 hours or uh, to be innovated for uh, full-fledged uh, you get that information and again these two points are the same but let's let's add some more points so let's say you already deployed the patches and to report that status back it takes 15 minutes post to the schedule uh, to re Compliance policies to be uh, verified on the scheduled scan and that information will be sent back uh, every 15 minutes to your Microsoft um, managed agent um, for your service and also for the Linux case it's the same case um, almost 15 minutes and sometimes it can take um, 30 minutes to 6 hours for the dashboard to be reported within your dashboard and coming back to the classification as we talked about the patches uh, not everybody is ready to push all kind of uh, update classification some of them only interest on critical or security or update rollups or feature packs service packs or definition updates or role tools and updates so all these kind of updates classifications are available so you can choose that uh, based on that criticality and filters and then select them and get it installed and uh, coming back to the updates to include or exclude you have that option whether you want to you know, include that specific update or not these are the additional feature which I'm talking here uh, which are gonna pop up on your screen in this box so you can include or exclude some of the updates you have that option also you have the scheduled uh, settings so that you can go for recurrence or maybe a once a once and uh, once only to deploy these patches or recurrently you can do it set it once one time and you know it does an automated way automated fashion on every month and also you have the we talked about the pre-scripts and the post-scripts options where uh, you can run some kind of pre-scripts as well as the post-scripts and maintenance window yes you do have the maintenance window uh, in minutes as you can configure also reboot control how the reboot should happen if really reboot is required or always reboot all that kind of you know options you have so for example some of the machines not required to be rebooted a reboot is not required or maybe always can be rebooted or never rebooted that configurations can be set it and only reboot will not install the updates so that kind of you know options also you have so you it, it's not going to install the updates but it just reboot boots with this option so all the possible options you have and based on that you can deploy the patches so this is all about the overview we talked about the supported operating systems not supported and the back end of the log analytic and automation icons which are involved here and you have all the flexibilities and it's going to support Windows and Linux operating systems and the schedules uh, this is all about the overview I hope this is useful for you thank you for watching this I will I will catch you in the next lecture